right. Excuse me. We have one more. Ah, uh, now we're switching to Nintendo. Ooh. Pokemon. Pokemon. This is. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Oh, someone fuck with us. Oh, there you go, Eric. It's not it's Pokemon. Not Pokemon? It's or is not it a different Pokemon. Pokemon? It's Cookie Maker. The music. Fuck you. By the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my Did God. someone do this? Moblins. Uh, Moblins. Did they do this? Moblins, someone the hero. Someone definitely did this. I'm jacking up my music. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that good? Seven. Seven temples? I betcha. There's Zelda. It's giving me Wind Waker getting vibes. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, look at that shield. That shield's cool, yeah. That is cool. It oh, he's slightly... got a scarf. Skyward Sword. Uh, yeah. Oh, he jumped. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm currently in a playthrough of Breath of the Wild right now, and I'm Whoa. freaking out, man. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a rock elevator. Whoa, fuck. Whoa, he's you on a rocket fuck. glider. What's the title? Legend of Zelda. Aroboros. Tears, Tears of, of the, the King. Kingdom. Hmm. Wait, is that Tears of the King? Tears of the King. I would say Tears, probably. Yeah. But the whole thing's teared apart. Yeah, maybe. Torn. No, it's teared. Oh! 512 May, huh? That's so long, Eric. That's five days before my birthday. <laughs> so that's why they released Skyward Sword. Oh, my God. Hmm. Fuck yeah, baby. They really... Who? Jancy's responsible for the troll. So I love her didn't... so much. She knows me so well. She knows that I was that. like, okay. oh, okay, Pokemon. All right, that's cool. You said yeah. the last one. You, you fucker, you said last one. You knew what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> see, I figured, okay, Pokemon. All right, let's see what they show and that's stuff. Exactly and then it did I that. Thought. I was like, like man, all right, it's weird. All right, that it's weird, but I can understand Nintendo like screwing with people still, too. Sure, you know? They've and, done that. But Oh, fuck, man. But no, that's fun. I like that. No, I mean, it, it didn't show us too much. I feel like we, no. we've we seen something like that before, right? I remember the clouds. We've seen in up something. in the clouds, yeah. So it wasn't too much more that I feel like no. we didn't know. But we have a date, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. we are. I, I hope that we can really get into some stuff because one of my favorite things in all of Breath of the Wild is just it's one it's one small storyline but it's Terrytown and it's this place that you can like go throughout the world and start creating a community like in this in the Akala region right and i want that for Hyrule cuz Hyrule as cool as it is to experience that world you know that you are in a destroyed world and i kind of want to see a game where we can build that back up again sure and with this idea Dark of uh you know, um, Sky. You mentioned Skyward Sword, and one of the things about Skyward Sword is that you know shit got so bad, the like we just the, the goddesses just threw everything that was good up into the sky, <laughs> and that kind of seems like maybe there's something there too. Uh, Breath of the Wild has this uh, this tribe of people called the Zonai, and it's very very subtle, but you see all these ruins everywhere. It's kind of like Numenor in Lord of the Rings, and I always wonder like what happened to the zonai maybe they literally went up into the sky and that's what's happening there hmm, maybe but i don't know hmm. i have so much i could talk about but what do you guys what do you guys think <laughs> no i mean i haven't finished breath of the wild mm. no i haven't um, started breath of the well to be fair i've started it three times and i've gotten like one play session in each time and then i've gone to bed and forgotten to keep playing it and then i've forgotten each time what i went over so i've had to start it over again yeah, and gotcha. then I've played one, two, and uh, Link to the Past. So gotcha. like I don't have a tremendous amount of modern Zelda experiences. Sure. I mean, I mm. love what they did in the first game, and this one mm. here. I, I don't know how much. Like I didn't see any HUDs, you know, and I don't know if I should have, because like them climbing, I saw nothing there. Yeah. But that one guy was like holding on to mm -hmm. an elevator going up. Yep. You know, and there's like no grip meter or anything. But I suppose if you just hold still, your grip meter kind of stays the same. So I wonder it might not matter too much. Could also be like a cutscene kind of thing. You know, like an elevator loading screen. I I play mm. in pro mode now where I have no HUD. 
Sure. Like the only thing that pops up is sometimes my hearts Mm. um, and the stamina meter. But yeah, if you don't move, it doesn't really much. Yeah. So like if they're just holding on and stuff, I was just thinking like, are they changing the way the stamina and stuff works at all Mm -hmm. with this being so like, like if you jump, like stamina was also like your glider. Like, do you still get a glider? If you jump and don't have your glider and you fall really far (laughs) because you've already used your stamina or can you glide for so long from up in the air? Like, I'm curious on how the stamina will work with some of the stuff. We we did see one thing like a a trailer before where Link did some type of uh, ability where he could like be like a raindrop going up to the sky. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, you just you, you have the skydiving mechanic and then yeah you could probably play with it with the the glider and it stuff felt like to that. me like that elevator was a player created thing as well yeah it could be it, um you know the world of hyrule of what we saw did to me look like it might be relatively the same like down but we're gonna have a whole new region and there's no underwater expo- exploration in the first game either which is kind of different from other zelda games so they, they could really open that up as well if they wanted to like underwater you know yeah. The, that first trailer that we saw was under Hyrule Castle, right? And Ganondorf yeah. was down there. Like so. the, the body was down there, right? Yeah. And like the spirit or whatever was like, the power yeah. was like winding around him. Yeah. So I think that you could mm. have a relative, the same topography map of Breath of the Wild, but have below and have above. Do you and think now we, you've ex, ex, expanded the world times two. Do you think we bring back more traditional dungeons? Yes, because I think that would like I the shrines are fine. Yeah, but I like the idea of these dungeons you dive in, you go into, and you're exploring something <laughs> deeper. Instead of these yeah. shrines, were much more just they were short, linear. You got to solve this puzzle, get past this obstacle, and now you found the chest. You know, like I mean, just being a Zelda veteran for so long, there was a screen at the beginning of this where I'm like, okay, there's at least seven temples because I can see seven places to put my medallion or my pearl or my whatever I get from finishing a temple. Sure. That's what yeah. it looked like to me. I mean, maybe you do a mixture of the two where you still have some shrines, but also yeah. here are these seven dungeon locations. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do with that. Yeah. Will you still be able to get to fight the final boss from the get-go if you wanted to? You know, like in Breath maybe. of the Wild, one of the things was like, you can go straight to the end if you want. You can. Or you can do all the other stuff and get yeah. more powerful so it's a little easier, no, essentially. I- Breath of the Wild just gets better for me on replayability. Like, I love that. I used to hate the weapon system. Now I love it, right? It's sure. Breath of the Wild. Like, it is resource management. There are times where I'm out of shit. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go into Hyrule Castle, get as much as I can, and get out of there. You know, I do that. And I like to I, I like to put on different clothes for Link. Like, on my current playthrough, all of my tops and hats are dyed green. All of my bottoms are dyed white. And now I every no matter what... Outfit I'm on, I can mix and match no matter what I'm wearing. I look like Link, like original green, because I haven't gotten my blue champion's tunic yet. Mm. Did you dye so. all your chest pieces green? Yeah, uh, everything. everything, as much as okay. I can. Some some certain things you can't dye, but sure. I just love getting immersed in that world, you know. And Rick, speaking of games you haven't played, we gotta get you playing Ocarina of Time very soon. It's true. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Ocarina of Time was a lot of fun. I like that yeah. one a lot. Yeah, I wonder if they'll keep it more Breath of the Wild as far as inventory and yeah. all that, or will they go more traditional, you know, Ocarina of Time, yeah. Skyward Tears Sword, the- or whatnot? Yeah, like the inventory stuff, the weapons, and um, like the crafting is what really turned me off from Breath of the Wild. See, it definitely really? did my the first time <clears throat> I played, but once I like learned to live with that system, I, I think I actually enjoy it more now because I really... When I come over the crest of a hill and I see an enemy encampment, I'm like, okay, what do I got? You know, I can look around. I go, okay, so this guy, okay, that guy has a sword, so I can beat him with this stick <laughs> that I found. <laughs> take his sword. You know, like there's a there's a really good chance of immersing yourself, but the game doesn't necessarily demand that of you. It just lets you if you want to. Yeah, I felt like like the rewards didn't always match the challenges because like I'd see an encampment. It's like, okay, well, I'll use this resource to defeat this encampment, and then I will get resources equivalent to what I expended. Sure, I get you. Kind of thing. So, like, why yeah. even do it at all? Yeah. Well, I, I guess for me, it's like, uh, you know, one thing I really love about that type of game and, you know, other games that you'll you'll eventually play, too, in that series is uh, how you, you know, how you're helping the char- the, re- the characters in that region, right? Like, if I'm fighting a divine beast, I need to really feel 
bad for these characters, and I got to go stop it, right? So as I'm making sure. my way towards that divine beast, I got to make sure that I'm – maybe I, that means I need to avoid that enemy encampment, right? Mm -hmm. And then if I do that, well, then if I'm trying to escape, they're still going to be there. Like, there's a lot of really cool situations, but I understand that's also – kind of the hallmark of the open world RPG. And but that's Breath of the Wild. This is Tears of the Kingdom and what does that evoke? Like what can that game be? Sure. Hmm. I mean, lots of Nintendo things are not typically it's not making everything the same. They're yeah. always looking at new innovative ways. I mean, even the first Legend of Zelda to the second Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. very different games. Adventures of Link, yeah, very You know, different. like oh, they're yeah. they're very different. Like yeah. play style and everything just changed so much and it's like, well, that's Nintendo doing what Nintendo wants to do as opposed to like, yeah. oh, you were used to this and you like this game? Well, we want to do something else. Yeah. And here's something that maybe you didn't know you were going to like, but we're going to try some new stuff. Yeah. And with, it's with like it, Nintendo you know? adjacent, but Kirby is the best example of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like every game is very, very different. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think so. I mean, even if you look at like Mario, typically Mario is fairly similar, but like you look at Mario Brothers 2 for the US was very different than Mario Brothers 1. Sure. I mean, obviously there was reasons for that. Mm -hmm. But then you start getting into some of the other games and stuff, and Mario 64 is very different from Mario World, you know? And yeah. they just really started changing the way things kind of, like, the way it evolved. So, Resident Evil. So I, I think change can be good with some of these games. Yeah. I just wonder, like, I know, you know, like Rick said, like, there were, there's people who didn't like the inventory management yeah. and the resources being used. They liked, I have the Master Sword, and that's my sword now, and I'm using this the whole time. So I wonder if they will keep more close close to that kind of style yeah. or if they'll keep it more to like gather a bunch of weapons and they'll break sometimes and yeah i mean i don't as much as i now love it in breath of the wild it's not that's my favorite thing about zelda is everything can be different this one this zelda can be an, an adventure and managing your resources but this one can be incredibly sad and it's not about what you have it's about what you don't have you know like mm -hmm. i i think that zelda is very strong in that it's not necessarily it's not necessarily a story that has the best story. Like God of War might be the story, <laughs> the story game. Sure. Zelda is is something, it's an experience, and each game can be very, very different. So as much as I love that inventory system now, I think I'm going to love whatever they come up with next.